beautifully gathered, beautifully gathered in here by the big man Walter Welch. Walter taken down on the 45 meter line, free in, and over once again will go TJ Reid. And this is how it came about. Reaching in there was Dara Fives, swung him around, and then it was the hand of Jamie Barron. And thus far shalt thou go, I think, seems to be the message. Yeah, great catch. Um, great puck out, first of all, to pick out Walter Walsh and a great catch. And then once you, once you manhandle a player up around the shoulder, or up around the neck, you, you know, you're going to be penalised. TJ Reid once again. This to put three between them. Oh, he looks ultra confident. Another white flag and a goal at five so far for TJ Reid. And it's 1 7 to seven points. Well, they're giving away freeze, Waterford, and TJ is punishing them. Likewise, Morris Shanahan doing the punishing at the other end. That's batted out this time inadvertently by Shane Bennett. Comes out as far as Kieran Joyce. Grabbed in the air and then lost. Richie Hogan goes after and collects it well, and there's nothing Shane Fives can do about it. The goalkeeper allows this one to bounce in front of him and slips it back out to the side here, out as far as uh, Dara Fives. Picked up here by Colin Dunford. I haven't really seen Dunford run at the Kilkenny defence as we've seen him do in all of the earlier matches in this year's championship. Moran was fouled that time by Fennelly, and it's going to be a Waterford free in this time with uh, just about four and a half minutes to go to half time. Yeah, very difficult for Michael Fennelly there. Once uh, Kevin Moran went to ground, you're going to fall over his back, and uh, the referee had judged that he had fouled, so another chance now for Morris Shannon, their chief score taker up to now. And. Um, only, I think, he has got all the scores Except bar after uh, Gleason's sideline, so... Which, in its own way, has to be something of a concern, because we haven't seen too many of the other forwards get scoring chances either, Donald. No, but that, that is their system, I suppose, Ger, and they'll be happy enough, um, you know, if he gets this over, there's only two points between them. So crouching, hitting from 50 metres out, and the usual result, it's seven for Morris Shanahan, it's another one for Waterford, they look happy faces, He's made it 1-7 to 8 points. Well, he's certainly doing the business. Both free takers in top form. Murphy pucking it out. Light breeze behind Kilkenny for the opening 35 minutes, but uh, it's not terribly strong. Drop by Kevin Moran. In comes Jerry Elward. Taking on Shane Fives. After it goes Dara Fives. Leaving it off this time to Walter Welch. Welch, Welch taking on, and then in came the hand of Shane Fives. Referee says play on, then it's Dara Fives right on the end line. And the two fives combine, and the end is flicked away by Shane Fives. Back out here as far as Philip Mahoney, back out to Kevin Moran, and they break out of defence, or try to do so. That's Jamie Barron. Two between them, close to half-time. Kilkenny leading. Out comes Austin Gleeson. Gleeson leading the charge. Having a go and putting it over the bar. He's got a second. The margin is down to one. Three minutes to go to half time. Thrilling stuff at Croke Park. Well, that was a great score. Inspiration scored the way they walked it out from the back, and you thought for a while that Jamie Barron had lost the ball. Eventually got it to Gleason, and a trademark Austin Gleason score, like he scored against Cork in, in the championship and again. Uh, in, the, in the league final, but a fantastic score, and that will certainly get the uh, war for cut on their feet. Those puck outs directed down to Walter Welch are causing problems. It's Dara Fives who's been given the man-marking job at this stage. Austin Gleeson just uh, feeling an injury there, but this big man here, Walter Welch, is about six foot four, five inches tall, and he takes some stopping way up into the air. Fives was coming after him there, but the referee had blown his whistle by that stage. And TJ Reid will have the opportunity of extending the lead out to two once again, close to the interval break. Yeah, two very valuable catches from Walter Walsh there, and maybe Owen Murphy might be better off just to, you know, to pepper that side of the field with his puck outs. Uh, Walter will be pleased enough, Jared. I think their system, they're, they're playing Brick Walsh in the right half forward, hasn't been in the game that well. Here's another one. TJ Reid now with a goal and six points. Out of Kilkenny's total of 1-8. We were mentioning the spread of scores by Waterford. Much the same for Kilkenny, it has to be said. Nobody in the inside forward line that's uh, on paper, at least. Aylward, Colin Fennelly or, Co or Owen Larkin has scored so far. Walter Welch has certainly been getting a lot of possession. 
and making scores for others. Richie Hogan on two points, and as I mentioned, TJ Reid on 1 6. This is as far as Gleeson. Final minute or so of the opening 35, a lapse by Shane Fires allows Owen Larkin, former hurler of the year, get it into the current hurler of the year from last year. Richie Hogan flighting it in but putting it wide this time. Haven't had too many of those, only four, and Waterford have had just uh, three wides in the opening. Well, almost 34 and a half minutes. That's beautifully taken by Austin Gleeson. Blocked down well by Kieran Joyce. Goes again. The WIT student knocking it in there towards Morris Shanahan, coming to it first is Shane Bennett. And the 18-year-old makes an angle for himself. The Waterford crowd cheer. He's got his first score of this match in the All-Ireland Hurling semi-final. He's made it 1-8 to 10 points. Good point by the 18-year-old. Yeah, did very well to flick the ball away, and he's standing in there with, with Morris Shannon in a two-man full forward line. That's almost the first ball he's got, but excellent score. Short puck out as far as Joey Holden, the Kilkenny captain. Back as far as Owen Murphy, being pressurised by Waterford, and the referee saw that the pressure was just a little bit too vigorous there, so he's given the free out. There's going to be one minute of additional time. Uh, at the end of a, a game which started late because the minor match before all of this finished level, a very thrilling game between Kilkenny and Waterford. It finished Kilkenny 26 points, or sorry, Galway and Kilkenny. 26 points for Kilkenny, 220 for Galway. They'll meet again. Meanwhile, in the senior match, it's Kilkenny who come. And once again, it's Colin Fennelly. Oh, taken down by Shane Fives. Somewhat unceremoniously, and the referee reaching for a notebook. Yeah, that'll be uh, a noting for that, and um, lucky enough, I think that's the second free here, um, that uh, Shane Five just hands around, and um, that could be a yellow card here, uh, yeah. It's the first yellow card of the match, and it's come deep into stoppage time. It now gives uh, Kilkenny uh, an easy free. But what it does is, as well, Ger, is that Shane Fives now cannot tackle really like it, and uh, you know, Kilkenny will be aware of that, particularly going into half time, and they'll be advised to run at him because he'll virtually have to let you go. Because once he puts his hand on you again, it's probably a straight red end, right? And uh, he'll be off. That's 1 7 for TJ Reid at the end of this first half. Shane Fives getting himself a yellow card for the foul immediately before that, and very shortly now, the referee will blow his whistle at the end of a very interesting first half here the teams go in with just two points separating the sides the only goal of the game came after 17 minutes and it was TJ Reid who got it but overall I think Derek McGrath and his mentors will be happy enough with the way Waterford have played Big Dad Shanahan there as well they're very much in it because uh, just two between them at half time, really all to play for in the second 35 minutes. At Croke Park here at half time, the scoreboard reads Kilkenny the leaders by 1 9 to 10 points. Very shortly, we'll have the views of Anthony Daly, Henry Shefflin, and Ken McGrath with Michael Lester. That's right after this.